video today's mod we doing sequential turn signals on these so let me show you what comes inside the box by the way you can get clear smoke signals or um, smokes uh, sequential signals so I got smoked to complement the black right here I didn't like the clear so comes with these Plastic pry bar and a T5 torque, I believe. So let's get started. So what you want to do now? What you want to do is take off the, the mirror glass, unplug these, put them to the side. Make sure you don't damage them because they will did damage. <clears throat> Sadly, then they're supposed to be uh, crap here. So there's actually four bolts that hold into the motor of the mirror. One of the bolts go right here, 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 and right here. So what you want to do is take those off with this. And then you come around here and then this is the wire for the the motor itself so what you want to do so sorry after a little bit of struggling mine been on there for a while but what you want to do is you want to pry open these two sides if you can have somebody pry on these or you can use the the plastic um pry bar put it in here um turn it towards the outside well pull it towards the outside and you pull the the wiring out of it and then that should be good to go so now we can there's one more bolt that's holding in this piece to get out everything else so we're gonna go and take that okay, off so now to take this off what you want to do is as it sits right here on this you want to go around the whole outer edge and basically work your way around without trying to crack the cover and it should pull off if you do have hard times trying to pull it off from the inside you can as soon as you put this in hold your hand underneath it just a little bit and go around and you can go from the inside as well and then lightly pull because this is very fragile it is abs plastic so it will break so that's it in order to take off the small bracket from the signal itself it this hook hooks into right there so what you want to do is push it out and then slide down and it should automatically come out so now we have this connector and what you want to lightly do is just pull up on it and it should just automatically come out now what we're going to do is we're going to take our new ones and reverse the operation so all right so i got the sequential turn signals on i'm about to button up everything and then I'll show you how they look after I do both sides. So you can you can see how they look. This is gonna sit on top of here. Well, it's gonna sit on top of here just like that. It's gonna give it a nice, nice dark look. <clears throat> Make the car, you know, look good. So it's gonna go from there. All right, so now I'm reassembling everything. So I mistakenly said there's only three bolts. There's actually one, two in, one in here, one underneath, one and two that hold the actual signal itself. So I'm gonna just put everything back in. <clears throat>
Get that nice and snug in. You don't want to make it too, too tight to where it cracks anything. So then we're going to just put our last one in right here. put the cover back on and everything should just click back into place There we go. It is on. So, now we'll put the glass back on. Then you want to connect these two. This is for basically power for to turn the mirrors. Put that back on. And click it back in place and you are done. We got everything buckled up. You see how they look now, sequential. Um, I'll put the link down below so you can get them. Um, they're fairly cheap. It's gonna take a little bit of modification just to make the, the power to the sequentials sit properly because it is a click-in um, wiring harness. So that's it like share and subscribe please thank you see you next time <clears throat>